Um, with that, I'm going to go uh, out of school for a second, and I know there's a young reporter in the room um, who would like to ask a question. Eva, Eva uh, Shapiro. Shapiro. Oh, pardon me. And uh, what, where are you from? What? Um, Austin, Texas, and you are part of the Kids Scoop. All right. Well, welcome to the briefing room. It's great to have you. And you could, uh, you're going to Trump AP, and uh, <laughs> I'll take your first question. Um, given the situation in Iran with protesting, what are we going to do, or what can we do? To so that's an excellent question uh, and an important question to ask, and uh, we have answered uh, this question multiple times here uh, at the at this podium. And the president uh, spoke to this uh, when he uh, was in, in the in the halls of the United Nations not too long ago in September, and he said, uh, "We stand with the brave citizens and the brave women of Iran." who right now are demonstrating to secure their basic rights, end quote. Uh, there's a lot that we can do and a lot that we are doing to support those brave uh, citizens, again, of Iran, those, those brave protesters. Uh, we're taking steps both on our own with, as the United States and also in partnership uh, with other countries uh, just around the world and including organizations like the United Nations, as I mentioned when the President first uh, made his comments about what we were seeing in Iran from the civil but let me just give you a couple of examples. We're using economic tools like sanctions against Iranian officials. We supported the UN Human Rights Council's vote to create a fact-finding mission uh, to investigate human rights abuses in Iran, uh, which, which was really historic, something that uh, we had not seen. So we are working with civil society organizations uh, to make sure Iran is removed from a United Nations body focused on women called the UN Commission on the Status of Women. We have expressed support for the joint statement by women foreign ministers uh, on Iran. And, uh, and we are speaking out over and over uh, again and raising awareness and making sure that those brave women and citizens are, are lifted up uh, as they are really fighting for their basic rights. But thank you so much uh, for your question. I really appreciate you. And again, welcome, welcome to the briefing room. Hopefully you come back.